Elon Musk just unveiled Tesla's mid-size electric SUV, the Model Y. The most affordable Model Y will have a base price of $39,000 and a 230-mile battery range, but it will also have to wait until at least 2021 to own one of these 5-series SUVs. Tesla will sell more expensive versions of the Model Y ranging from $47,000 to $60,000 offering five seats and more battery range. Those will ship starting 2020, according to the company. There are additional charges for Tesla's autopilot software, a third row of seats, and colors other than black. A panoramic glass roof comes as standard just like the Model 3. Musk revealed that the Model Y had 66 cubic feet of cargo space, comparable to a Jeep Grand Cherokee. He said the Y would have the functionality of an SUV, but will ride like a sports car. He also spoke of Tesla's autonomous driving software on Thursday, which will be available on the Model Y saying that it will be able to do basically anything by the end of this year, just with software upgrades. So just how different is the Model Y from the Model 3? Let's check out the website and make a side-by-side -side comparison. Now here after coming to the website, as you can see here, I have the Model 3 on the left and the Model Y on the right. Now right off the bat, once you go into the website, as you can see here, you will find that the cars with a, uh, a couple of pictures right here you will see the difference right away the model y over here at the right will have a few of these uh you know crossover like suv uh, styling cues with these uh plastic stuff that if, if i actually go down you will see them even more clearly down here as you can see here but really it's almost it's almost identical as far as the car is concerned. The fascia is pretty much the same. Everything really is. And if you want to see the real difference, just just hit the red color. I mean, I love this color. It's it's probably the best color for the uh, for the Tesla Model 3, and it's pretty incredible. And it really shows you all the accents that you need to see. Now, the pricing, as you can see, we will have to go down a little bit here so that we can actually see the the uh, the uh, options first for the for the range and uh, what will cost for each one of them. The Model 3 comes with a standard range, standard range plus, mid-size, long range, and then the dual motor all-wheel drive with long range and performance packages. The Model Y over here, as you can see, only have rear-wheel drive, at least at launch. They might actually add these later down the road, but now it's just a long range, and then uh, for rear-wheel drive, and then a dual motor all-wheel drive with long range and performance right off the bat if we select because we want them to be you know the same uh, cars we, we're not going to compare the standard range uh, with the long range here so we will go basically straight to the uh, long range car on the model 3 and we select it's already selected that basically this is the basic model which is the long range and you can see already the the, the, the price difference at the bottom after the savings, the Model 3 will run you about $37,500, while the Model Y will run you $46,200, so it's almost uh, right around $9,000 or so uh, price difference. Now here I think it really comes down to the savings, not because of the gas savings, it's more because of the uh, incentives, the tax incentives that the, the U.S. government is basically getting rid of by, I believe, the end of this year. They already slashed them in half, which is already done. But this car, basically, even though it, it was the Model Y, even though it was uh, announced this year, it does not qualify for the tax incentives because it's not even in production. As you can see here, it already says it, that the standard range production is expected to begin early in 2021. So it's, 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 pretty, it's a pretty long time uh, to see it, as you can see here. Uh, it's like by, by, by the beginning of 2021, you will start to see the uh, standard range. So even if you pre-order it right now, you don't, uh, uh, it, there are no tax incentives for this one. So you will have to pay full out of pocket. Now, if, if we see the actual mileage and the speed and all of that, as you can see, long range selected, long range selected, selected you already see some of the drawbacks of having uh, an SUV body style. The range is down by 25 miles, the speed is down by 10 miles per hour, and the 0 to 60 miles per hour is down by half a second. Now, I don't know 
if most people even care about the five uh, the five seconds of 5.5 .5 seconds zero to 60 time the top speed most people will drive their car at 70 maybe even 80 miles per hour if you live in utah and other uh states that have a higher uh, top speed for highways but for most people i am pretty sure uh th these these two stats right here uh, will not make much of a difference top top speed and zero to 60 not a decided factor now range would be a pretty big thing to uh to consider when you look at it for almost nine thousand dollar difference you actually get less now i'm just talking here into the uh, we're talking about the range the speed we're not talking about the current side because it has almost 10 percent uh more luggage space and there is even a seven seater option but we will get into that later into the video now if we compare the long range with the long range again we will select them here as you can see the difference is even bigger the model 3 here has 310 mile range while the model uh, y has 280 which is what another 30 miles off instead of just 10 another 30 miles off and the price basically difference ju jumps from 41,000 it's almost it's almost the same you know it's a 9,000 dollar difference in price but it's even you, you get even less as you can see here i mean it's again it's almost the same in terms of difference from 145 to 135 and 4.8 seconds to 4.5 seconds which is this time only 0.3 seconds but as i said top speed and 0 to 60 not that important to most people but the range is what's going to be a main selling point the performance pack will increase a little bit uh, for the for, for, for the uh, for, for the model y thankfully this time it does not reduce the range but it both increases the uh the top speed to 150 there was a, a 12 mile per hour difference which is not a big deal and a 3.5 second to 3.2 again a 0.3 second difference in 0 to 60 i don't think it's uh, it's that big of a deal right here as you can see it's basically uh pretty much the same here and uh, it, it will get here in terms of uh, options 20 inch performance wheels as you can see it's basically like just like the, uh, the tesla it, they, they look pretty much the same uh, there are a few accents that are either absent or different for example here on the doors as you can see this little shoulder right here it's a little bit less accentuated on it but yeah it's it's, it's practically the same car just a little bit higher jacked up suspension with a few different accents for uh, a crossover like uh, look now once we go down as you can see here you, you can see it clearly i mean the, the cars are in terms of general design are pretty pretty much almost almost the same but i have to say it's 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 a pretty good car as far as the model y is concerned now the inside again is practically the same is practically the same the uh, model y just I, I just forgot it will have the carbon fiber spoiler it will have everything basically what's what uh the model 3 already has it's going to be the same as you can see uh because they did not include any imagery here uh, we're just going to pick them up from here as you can see there is the uh, lowered suspension for an suv obviously carbon fiber spoiler which is just going to look just like this this is the model 3 but it will be the same uh on the back of the car in this side here uh there is the uh, aluminum alloy pedals which is basically this one's and you know a bunch of stuff it's it's almost as i said it's a model 3 with a jacked up suspension a little bit less range but more space this is this is really what the model uh y is now once you go inside uh, uh, keep in mind that we, uh, we have selected the uh, performance pack for both here so that you can see the price uh, price difference basically which is here fifty two thousand dollars on the model three and a half and here fifty nine thousand the difference is actually even less this time it's like seven thousand dollars if you're going for the highest end model but for the lower end models there is there is a massive difference uh again until the model y is actually introduced in a standard range just like the model 3 but if you select both the long range versions then it's almost uh nine thousand dollars difference the interior is pretty much the same there is nothing different here as you can see between the two pictures this is the model y again the model 3 two options 
as you can see, uh, at a thousand black and white, a thousand dollars. And uh, it, when you click on show details, as you can see, it's it's pretty much the same thing. You know, it's copy paste. But where the Model Y might make a difference is for families. If you have a family, you know, people buy SUVs or they buy small vans for a family. This is where the Model Y comes in its own because it has a seven seat interior option. But it's not standard. You will need to pay an extra $3,000 to get it. It makes sense in most, uh, in most other SUVs. I mean, there are uh, other cars that have the option of three row seats. Some come as standard, some don't. But here it's a $3,000 uh, optional extra. So you have to pay attention to that so that you know the, uh, the the price that you will get it for outright for the uh, for, for the white color as you can see it's a thousand dollar extra so just just make sure you don't just select stuff it's it's a thousand dollar extra on both so I, I would definitely just go with the plaque so that you save you save yourself a few a few hundred bucks but yeah uh, the autopilot again it's the same there is no difference the same hardware the same software and they both will be updated to hopefully as Elon Musk said to full autonomous driving he, as he said by the end of the year which will be a pretty nice thing uh, if we if we actually uh, is able to deliver on this promise so yes it's, it's pretty fantastic it's the same price as three thousand dollars for the autopilot and then full self-driving capability you need to add another five thousand dollars if you select it Again, uh, you, you have to look at it from top to bottom so that you know which one you will get. But uh, the price basically starts to rack up pretty rapidly. And as you can see here, again, it's like $69,000. Or basically, this is a jacked up version, uh, but with the black interior. So it's without $1,000 for the white interior option. And it's like $60,000 to $69,000, like $8,500 uh, difference. Again, for 10% more. Uh, luggage space and a seven seat option because the seven seat option is already included in this price so just so that you know now if we hit next we will see if they have any uh, you know so, so that we have our summaries here as you can see and it's basically the, the car is, is, is pretty incredible uh, you will have all of the features as you can see it's almost basically the same it's just that it's not as detailed obviously because the car is not out yet so they they are leaving it for and for people who are going to pay with a loan you, you can see i think a, a much a much more uh e easier to to understand numbers here uh with after the estimated savings on the model 3 it's going to come out to almost 900 dollars per month 893 on a jacked up basically fully optioned out model y you will get just under ten twenty five dollars a month, which is a pretty pretty incredible number. So it's like almost a hundred dollars. Well, it's less actually. Well, it's, it's a little bit more than a hundred dollars, but I, I will have to say it's uh, it's it's a pretty fantastic car. And again, if you wanted to to, to have it today, uh, you have to to, to deposit the twenty five hundred dollars, but it's fully refundable, so shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Again, I, I really think it's it's a pretty fantastic looking car. Uh, if we go back, just just to look at the at the car itself, and I, I really love the red the red color. I mean, this red color is a, absolutely a dream. It just looks incredible. I mean, look at this, look at this. I mean, I, I love these uh, these rims, and they are pretty incredible. Uh, the lines are fantastic. The car is just is just something else. So I think this is really all there is to know about the new Tesla Model Y. And uh, it's comparison to the to its sibling, the Model Three. Tell me what you, what you what you think in the comment section below. Hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button. Enable notifications. And uh, see you in the next one.